Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new keycap set from Kinetic Labs. It's called Black on Chalk PVT and it is really nice. Now we have a excellent set. These are die sub PVT keycaps. So we're going to have the thicker keycaps. Let's see what they come measuring in at. Nice, they come measuring in at 1.5 millimeter. It's a really nice thickness. Um, I prefer anything above one millimeter, but once you go above 1.3, 1.4, then you're going to have more of a deeper tone, especially with PVT keycaps. We have some really nice legends. They're rounded out and we have a super key, not a Windows key. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I know a lot of us out there that do not use Windows, really appreciate that super key as well. So thanks for that. Um, we do have a number of selections for not only, well, the majority of the modifier keys. Uh, not only do we have the Kinetic Lab logo, we have one use of the modifiers on the right side of the space bar, say like a 65 compressed um, or even some of the 75 compressed. We we do have three different colored ISO uh, enter keys, the L shaped, uh, this is the uh, upside down L. I think there's two types of L. So those might actually be the ISO JIS, but I can't recall at the moment. We do have a couple different selections, not only with the white, um, or the black on white escape key. We have the blue with the black legends. I think that, yeah, they're all pretty much going to have the black legends, but we have it in that light green as well as that pink. Um, it seems a lot of those keys are available in those different colors, at least a lot of the modifier keys. If we pull this out, we can get into the third tray. We see that we do have. Um, not only an al alternate color space bar, but we also have uh, both in both colors. We have the sang and bottom row space bar so that we could, you know, actually do it. And it does have all of the modifier keys for that. They also have the um, home keys without the little, uh, the little edge for you to find your way home. Some people just prefer, prefer the flat ones. So they have that. They have the single use shift. Um, they do have another ISO key here. I do believe that they have all the ISO, the general ISO keys available. Um, but even if they don't, it does look like they include a couple for, that looks like row two and row, that'd probably be row, two, row one. Eh, what's taller? It has, they have a combination of some blank keys as well, just in case, you know, you either want it blank or you don't have a key and that's replacing it. So it does have those nice, uh, it also has a step caps lock and the shorter backspace if you have the split, split backspace. So it has a nice 1.5 millimeter thickness and really is well kitted um i think the only more popular layout that it wouldn't cover between the uh 60 and a full size would probably be not having the um the extra b and the um I believe they're two and three quarter or 2.75 use space bars for the split space bars but other than that, I think they will cover the majority of the other kits in that space range from 60% on up to a full size. So I went ahead and loaded up some of the keys from the Black on Chalk PBT set onto this TG67 V3. Um, and that's what we're going to do the sound test on. They are also loaded with the Kinetic Labs Linear Latte Switch, which is a really nicely weighted it's not too light but it's not too heavy linear switch that has a i won't say i wouldn't say muted but it has a softer bottom out well try as i might i am unable to find the uh, specific materials that this is made out of i see a lot of other ones are either made out of a nylon pa12 mix 
and the stems are POK. I can't say if this is the case in that situation. A lot of the HMX stems appear to be POC 12 or made out of POC material. They are quite soft um, and you can definitely feel uh, they are pre-lubricated. We do have a single stage 63 and a half gram spring, uh, which is, in my opinion, is one of the, the best weights, anything in the 60 to 65 gram range. Although uh, I'm sure you've, you've noticed that there will be some springs that rate lower, but feel heavier and vice versa. So we've got a really nice tight housing. We've got a little bit of a darker, almost cafe con leche and a little bit more of that latte whipped milk kind of creamy color on the top with the stem bringing out a little bit more of the bottom color uh, we can see as with most hmx switches there is literally no wobble north to south and no wobble east to west they are perfectly in there they fit nicely they provide a nice solid delivery and like i said they're not they're not harsh they're not loud they're not quiet per se um i would say these go more into the muted category on this keyboard they do pop but do deliver more of a deeper sound profile um, this tg67 is still running stock i do want to come back to these switches because uh lately most linears and a lot of the HMX switches have had more of that glassy marble on a tile floor kind of sound. But this one is a more, like I said, muted. It's not quite the right description. It's more of a, um, it's a softer, deeper tone. And I think in the right build, these will actually probably sound better than Kale Creams but that's just my opinion i'm going to go ahead and do a sound test on the tg67 v3 like i said this is completely stock uh built as it came um i've also loaded up on here black on chalk pbt keycaps also from kinetic labs they were kind enough to send me out they i've been working with them for a while every once in a while i reach out to them say hi we talk hey Sure, I'd like to test out some switches. I'll test out some keycaps. Uh, they actually sent me the TG67 um, V3, and that's one of the reasons I like to keep it stock so that when I test their switches and their keycaps, I kind of can have a kind of a baseline of how all of their uh, products sound. I've been very happy, very impressed. I think that, um, in my opinion, Kinetic Labs has one of the better US based. Um, selection of not only keycaps but switches as well and while they're not cheap they're not they're definitely not on the high end there's definitely much pricier keycap sets um, and switches so i like that they're in the middle and they do provide great service they're very communicative um, and they're big in being a part of the community so i gotta give them a heads up for that there's i i know sometimes i bring up companies i'm not happy with because you know squeaky wheel gets the oil come here come here oh hey velcro come here if you're gonna come in here you gotta come in here come here all right well the cat's gone um but i also want to make it a point to you know, let, let be known of the companies that are actually doing good in the community. They're providing good products at a decent price. Um, they do good shipping quick. Um, their service is excellent. Um, I, I don't believe I've ever read a negative review on Kinetic Labs. So I'm not saying they don't exist, but, and obviously that's more of a anecdotal, but I know everyone that I've spoken to, they enjoy their products. Um, and they find them to be of good quality as well anyway i am going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the kinetic lab latte switches loaded up on a tg67 v3 as well as um, dyson pbt 
black on chalk uh, sent from uh, Kinetic Labs as well. If you have guys have any questions, uh, please do let me know down in the comments below. But, but like I said, I'm probably going to be coming back to this latte switch because it's something that um, I'm more of a tactile guy. Don't get me wrong, but I do like and have... Come here. Uh, all right. So if you haven't met him, this is not... It's part of the family. He is a big baby. Even though he's uh, 11 years old this year, right? Huh? Just want to take some camera. So anyway, here's a kind of hat tax. If he he knows cameras are looking at him. Sometimes he's like all about taking pictures. Sometimes he's like, nope, I don't want to be in front of the camera. I'm gonna pretend it's not there. <laughs> going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the latte switch from kinetic labs made by hmx a nice linear 63.5 gram um switch with some with black on chalk pbt 1.5 millimeter pbt uh die sub key caps on a stock tg tg 67 v3 from kinetic labs i do hope that you enjoyed my quick review of the switch and the sound test if you have any questions any comments please leave them down below and hitting the thumbs up hit the subscribe does go a long way and i just want to wish everybody out there in youtube land a wonderful day and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on